<laughs> I'm sorry I'm still laughing at the uh, the whole Pat Pat Daddy's here thing from the last video. <laughs> hey everybody, my name is Digit Doesn't Learn Now and welcome back to another No Bless. Now that one was fucking 43 to 40. Eh? Yeah. Yeah. Oof, by the way, just oof. I am, I'm sorry if you guys are, might be getting tired of the racist shirt, but it's the same damn day. I'm not going to be wasting a new shirt for every video. Only psychopaths do that when they're binging comics in one day. Gosh, because I'm binging, I almost feel like I need popcorn. But you guys know what happened last chapter. We had a fucking Frankenstein take on our mysterious group and kick Mr. Scaraman's ass. Also, I didn't. I thought he was the one in charge, but it seems more that Marie is the one that was in charge of the whole group, of the whole operation. He's just big man cocky. Or maybe he, she's just there to make sure he doesn't get his ass whooped. Like he did. <laughs> but without further ado and out, and without further bullshit, let's go. Okay. Episode 49. They were human. I can't be sure of, of the other party's involvement. Also, as expected, we have something to do. They have something to do with you, your holy ground ending up. With your holy ground ending up here. I believe further investigation needs to be pursued. What happened to your shirt? I met some new I met some new guys. And they thought I was hot as shit. <laughs> they were human. But a lot more powerful. Hmm. They seem to be a creation of human beings. Human always humans always wish or always wished to have power. Yes, they have done many experiments even in the past. They were based on human knowledge, but no notable progress has been made until now. Interesting. However, they were different. Those two were humans as well. I can't be sure, but they seem to be created by humans as well. From what I say, or from what I saw, their movement and power were nothing like ordinary humans. That was why I sensed such feeling. They don't belong in any world. Ah, yep. An abomination. So they need to make their way into the world. They need to make the world that they belong in. Help to make the world that they belong in so they don't have so they don't want to kick your ass. <laughs> That's why the master made a comment like that. They were created merely as an experiment. Now you gotta feel bad for everybody. Oh, look at this bunker they all- they just have to live in. Sucks. <coughs> you need medicine to be stable. Interesting. <gasps> this happens all the time. Don't look at me like that. Yeah. They can't sustain themselves, can they? Pathetic guys consoling each other. You guys are defective, even for an early stage experiment specimen. M24. How long can you go without those meds? 48 hours, 72. You two are breaking my heart. You still want to carry on living like that? <laughs> Jake! 
What? You want to fight me? You think I... You think you have a chance because I'm in this condition? <laughs> You're right. If not now, you'll... You won't have a chance. Then buckle down. You... It's okay, man. Dude, he's like, he's like a bully victim, and he's just, and his friend's like the older brother, even though he's shorter, and it's like, it's okay, bro. I'm used to it. <laughs> I actually feel bad for these two. Shit. I like how the short the chapters are right now. It's, it's very quaint. I like it. Jake, how dare... Bang. Let's go. You don't even have courage to fight me. You guys are trash. <laughs> Jake, we are leaving for now. What? We have no intel on this mission. We need more information on the group we're after, especially the one that roughed you up like that. But, but, but... You don't have a choice. We're going back to the lab located in Korea. Yep. Basically... She's basically the one in charge. Either that or she's just his conscience. I really don't know what... Who's more in... Con I don't know who's in charge. Is Marie in charge or is Jake in charge? Or is nobody fucking in charge? Are they just all running around willy-nilly? With her being the conscience of the group? The Jiminy Cricket? Dr. Crombell is there right now. Dr. Crombell? He would be... He would be able to treat your wounds without any problem. He's one of the best bioengineering doctors in our organization. Er, uh, organization? <laughs> That's not even a word. Organization. Jake. I don't believe we are, author we are author authorized to have knowledge of that. <laughs> then we're able to find out why your we your wounds are not healing on its own. He's more than capable of finding that out. We need intel on the man we just encountered. Whatever his own, whatever, whether it's his own ability or if he's using something to prevent us from healing on our own. Also, how many are? They're out there with that kind of power. Because of him, this mission went sideways. <gasps> He's learning how to open the door! <laughs> Goodbye! I forgot to turn the gain off before I started recording. You know what? Fuck it. Doesn't matter. Press beep. Clang. So it's literally that button? Then why is it so damn hard? And at last I see the light. Oh shit, wait, I'm a vampire! No! <laughs> <laughs> I love these two! They're great! Congratulations, master. Frankenstein, you've finally done it. I couldn't have done it without you, Frankenstein. I just imagine you, Yami Yugi for Rai right now. I don't know why. Now you know how to open the door. Can I open the door and go out on my own now? On my own now? Yes, master. You may go out with great confidence. Hell yeah. <laughs> just, I'm gonna pop some tanks. <laughs> Oh, these two are great. Love it. We're too good at shit. <laughs> okay, episode 51. I'm sorry, that was dangerous. Don't bother. Normally I would a act before thinking and you would hold me back. Aww. Soon you won't need to take the meds like me. Oh, so he was on the meds? I should. Or I should. I'm tied up to the organization because of these meds. 
I don't know what to say to you. Don't say, don't say such things. Because of the side effects of the experiment, without taking the meds, the meds regularly, you feel great pain and the body collapses. Yep. It's been a while. It's been a while, M24. And I can go no longer without taking the pills. Finally, my body could bear it without... Finally, my body could bear it without taking the meds. Oh, There has been changes in us, M24. Er, there has been changes in us. M24 will like, will like me soon. You mean be like me, not will like me? <laughs> <laughs> what are you a couple? What are you? What are you the couple? Who's who's the bitch in the situ Who's the bitch in the you know in the relationship? You know <laughs> who who fucks who? <laughs> Jake's wounds seem severe. It should have been or should have been healed by now, but didn't but didn't seem to heal at all. Moreover, Jake's healing power is better than ours. I'm sure that it was him. The wounds he left on me would have healed right away, but it's taking longer than expected. Like an ordinary human with no healing powers. Guessing from what Marie said, the other guy didn't show up, and I don't know why. His powers are stronger than I thought. I, it'd probably be the same for the other guy, too. I agree. And what now? We should see how it goes. I'm curious about who they are. But it doesn't matter. They don't seem to have hostile feelings towards us. We'll be fine if we don't get on their nerves. You're right. The important thing is that the organization doesn't know about them. Jake has no intention of hiding the fact that he wants to eliminate us. He's been like that before, but recently it's escalated. He won't be like he wouldn't be like that for no reason. You think the org you think the organization is trying to terminate us? I don't know. But they'll always be ready to do so. However, it won't be good for us if the news gets out that we let or that we let witnesses get away. Damn, you're so pathetic right now. But the organization will focus on those two we on those two we know. That's all that's a good thing for us. Can't believe I'm having tea with Master. <laughs> Jeez. Oh my gosh. Ring, ring, ring. Why would Shin? Why would Shinwu be calling? Hello, sir. Where are you? Shinwu sounds desperate. I'm home. Is there something? Doop. Master, the phone was cut off. Shinwu sounded quite desperate and worried. He's just gonna want to play games, video games with Rai again, isn't he? He's just gonna want to play video games with Rai. All of them are staying at Yuna's. We met the villains at Shinwu's apartment. All of them were staying at Yuna's, but it's obvious the villains are looking for the students. Shinwu is calling at me at a time like this. Ding dong, ding dong, dong. So we're here. We were bored, so we came. This squad should never be broken. I'm sorry. It it just can't be. Look at this. We have Izzy. We basically have Ty. We have Mimi. <laughs> we have fucking Matt. <laughs> and like TK, basically. <laughs> like they're basically Matt and TK. <laughs> Half the time. Because Rai can't open the door, we came over when you were home. <laughs> Shin Wu. Yes, sir, I'm here. Just climb over the fence. What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. But Rai just learned how to open the door. He's a big boy now. He's a big boy. Come on.
Next episode. There we go. There we go. Episode 52. Let me just mark that in the book. Ha ha ha. I mean it. We came to see you because we thought you'd be bored. Incredibly so. <laughs> you must have stayed home for several hours or several days now. What did what did you do the whole time by yourself? I practiced my fangs. Chips. Oh. Oh no! <laughs> clean freak! I mean, he would be a clean freak. Are you kidding? He would so be a clean freak. <laughs> you know what happened. Really, it was Aiken who that did that. Oh. I can see it right here. Oh, this. No, it wasn't me. It was Shenmue. Don't deny it. The truth's the truth right there, Yuna. I saw it. I can do it too. No, Yuna, not you too. Hmm. I'm or not going to school wasn't all that fun. Patience, patience. Calm down, calm down. They are adorable students. Right, right. Breathe in. <laughs> right, sir? Hmm, sir? Oh. Oh my, I'm sorry. I didn't hear you calling me. The chairman looks ill. You look pale. Are you okay? I'm... Uh, I'm fine. What was the question? When do we get to go back to school? We're worried we might get behind in our classes compared to the other schools. Well, it won't be possible until the police announce that it's safe again. Oh, so all the school, all the students of the school are get to have a break? Sweet. Looks like they they don't have a break though. And it seems like they don't have a breakthrough. It won't be easy considering the degree of this case. Well, it won't be possible till the police announces that it's safe again. Except for being bored, I kind of like this. Ring. Ring. Oh, it's mine. Huh? What the? Shin was wrong. Who is it? Yuna. You're calling me. How have you not noticed that your phone's missing, lady? How have you not? You're a teenager! You're a millennial teenager! How have you- oh. You know this area type? A millennial can't even last two seconds without their phone. Hell, I have one right here in case I need a sound effect. Bruh! Stop, Shinwu. You're scaring us. You surprised us. Yuna is here. What are you talking about? I'm not lying. Look. It's coming from a number I saved from the number I saved is Yuna's. What? How's that possible? Yuna, maybe you're sitting on the phone I dialed by accident? No, I didn't No, I didn't get a new phone after I lost my phone. Oh. oh no. They they took my phone when I was kidnapped. That's right. They called me with Yuna's phone last time. Dramatic glancing. No way. Let me answer that. Okay, here. <laughs> Get this shit out of my hands. Yes. Hmm, this isn't Shinwu's voice. Right, you're the one who... You're one of the two guys I can never forget that voice. Good. Actually, we called Shinwu because we got some... Business with you two, not the students. Meet us where we first met, the building of the under construction. They want help. <laughs> Watch them want help to get the fuck out of the <laughs> of the organization. Organization thirteen. <laughs> Attack, sir. This is really those. Is it really those people from the other day? No. It isn't something you should be worried about. Then who called? The person who found Yuna's phone called. He found the phone and called you because many calls were made for you. Or were made to you. <laughs> oh my, that was scary. <sighs> nope, that, that was the bad guys. Yeah, I was so terrified. So I don't want to leave 
to relive it. I didn't know. I didn't even know I lost my phone. How? You're a millennial! <laughs> How? <laughs> How does this happen? It's stupid of me to find out just now. Yeah, no shit! <laughs> you know, it, that's okay. It, Anyone who experienced what you experienced would be the same. Except any millennial fucking would seek phone and and their friends out. Granted, yes, their friends. But their phone, too. So that they could watch cute cat videos to make them forget about the pain of being in this world. <laughs> Sorry. What? That's right. If it were me, I wouldn't... I would have wouldn't have held it together. Well, Jinmu, you usually can't hold yourself together. <laughs> oh my gosh, the quips. Oof. I can... You... You should go home now, it's late. Oh, it's really late. When did, when did it get so late? Just in case, I will go and get Yuna's phone. What? No, that's okay. Since it's my phone, I should go. You sh You don't need to go through all that trouble for me. That's right, sir. We we will go with her. So don't worry. Chairman getting the student's phone back. That's nonsense. Why is it nonsense? Well, if you ask us why, why is it nonsense? It is not nonsense. Maybe in your, Maybe in other situations, but we have to be careful for now. Because horrible cases occurred around this, around here recently, it might just be pick. It might just be picking up a phone, but we don't know who he is. And since I know how, and since I know about what has happened, I cannot just sit here and do nothing. Look at my sexy hair. <laughs> I have a responsibility to keep my students safe as a chairman. Of Ye of Yiran High School. Yiran! <laughs> the fucking names of these buildings. My goodness. The only things that are named that actually have a good name are the people. <laughs> like, ooh, hospital. <laughs> Yiran. <laughs> Something's awkward. Yes, sir. We appreciate it. Well, how could that happen? Really? The Jake we know? It's been confirmed. People say Jake was wounded and has been transferred to the lab. Wounded by who? Hang on. Ugh. Oh, it feels better. I can breathe. Transferred to the lab. Wounded by who? Fuck. <laughs> hmm, how did this... Damn! Ugh. When will you stop take... When will you stop talking to yourselves? Well, for now, we need to... We need to do some more tests. What tests? You wanna use me as a lab rat? This is not what I'm... That's not what I meant. I meant that we need to do some tests to find out why the healing is so dull. I heard Dr. Crombell is here. That's right. He would be e he would be able to easily find the reason why. Why is he here? To conduct an upgraded experiment. Hey, you shouldn't say we need we had some breakthrough in the lab, so he came here himself. Is that so? <laughs> Dr. Grumbell, buddy! <laughs> I need help. <laughs> you think you'll be okay? Ah, that, okay, that was weird. This is the only way at the moment, but we have no idea who they are. The same goes here. The same goes here. That we don't 
know about you. I thought I was wrong when we first met, but I feel an odd sense this time as well. Are they really the noblesse as, as we guessed? But why? I, well, why I get the feeling from, from one and not the other. I warned you, but you called the kids again. I made, I made clear on the phone that I called to meet you guys. There was no other way to reach you two. We may, and we may help you. Help? You may well know that those kids are in danger. Although we attacked those kids, but we, but we knew that they didn't witness anything. We just messed with them. If we meant to kill them, we didn't need to stall. We had our chances. We didn't even think of them after we met you two. We had no reason to risk fighting you again, and it had nothing to do with our mission anyways. But we found out about them. They decided not to leave anyone who could be po They decided not to leave anyone who could be possible witnesses. They? I believe you've met them. <laughs> so it was related then. I wasn't sure, but they truly were after Shinwu and friends. It's worse than I thought. Are they responsible for the hospital incident? Yes, the man you wounded is well known to be violent within the organization. Since he got hurt, he will be even more violent from now on. And the kids won't get away from him. And why are you telling us... And you are telling us this why? We're in a bad situation. For not leaving the kids alive, they left a clue for the organization to inspect to suspect us. That's what you got to do with... What's that got to do with kid... With this? You could have told them the kids won't... Don't have to be eliminated. Unfortunately, there's a guy who wants us dead. To people like us, who could be... Who, get, who could get eliminated anytime, those suspicions led to death. Lead to death. To avoid getting killed, we need to kill the kids. But we can't do that. There's no. There's only one option. It's inevitable that you will be exposed to the organization. So you two should get, should live the should live the organization. Focus on you, or let. Or so you two should live so the organiz organization focuses on you. But then they won't have time to be suspicious of us. We want to know about your organization. We don't know for sure. Information is not given to low-level members like us. Even if we knew, we couldn't or we wouldn't tell you. Our hands are tied. If we are only... We are only warning you because our lives are at stake. We have questions to ask you guys, but we're holding them. In, but we're holding them in. Honestly, informing the the organization about you two is the best way to get away from the organization's radar. I see. We should get what's best for both of us. Doctor Crombell, I didn't expect you would come here in person. I came because I heard some tests were successful. The reports are not that bad. The results are tempting, but I heard you came with something with some interesting news. Oh my. I heard Jake was wounded. He should have been healed in no time, but he didn't heal at all. That's right, sir. He isn't showing any progress. Interesting. He's quite re he's quite recent and efficiently made, but got hurt like that. What did you 
What did you think of the guy who did, the, did that to Jake? I never thought such a powerful enemy would exist. But nothing stands out except for the power to prevent the healing, if you say so. But well, the power to prevent from healing is worth studying. I'd like to get my hands on him and find out. So I can just split him open. <laughs> Fiddle with his organs. Okay, who are you? What what the fuck are you? And are you human? Evolved human and or vampire. That is the only identifications that this world gives a shit about. <laughs> I don't know, maybe you're a werewolf. <laughs> I don't fucking know. I don't fucking know. But I am very curious as to how all that just works. I'd like to see very much more. Also, I do not like... I mean, I guess it makes sense that they're just warning them. It would suck if they... Because if the, they didn't want to have to kill the kids because they know for a fact that they would come after them and wreck everybody. But, oof. I am very curious to see how everything unfolds. <laughs> but, I have to leave it here. I have to binge the ever-loving shit out of this comic and a few others. So live long and prosper. Always volunteer tribute, and peace out. Hope you all have a really good day. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!